entrepreneur, innovative cosmetics pioneer, medical research catalyst, author, and philanthropist. In 1989, when Victoria convinced an infomercial company that she could become the first cosmetic line ever to be sold on television, exceeding all expectations during the first week, Victoria sold a million dollars worth of cosmetics. This had never been done. Victoria Jackson's journey is proof that everything we experience, even in the mix of pain and debilitating fear, can be repurposed and harnessed to achieve our most impossible goals. The Duchess of Sussex Meghan interviewed Victoria Jackson on Archetypes on Spotify. It was one of the most powerful episodes featuring what female power looks like. Victoria Jackson in our book is more powerful than Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift sings about women's empowerment, but in her own life does not make economic boss moves. In music, the holder of the master controls the financial gains of the recordings and how it is used. A musician purchasing their master is a total boss move. Taylor Swift's masters came up for sale, and her music fell into the hands of her art nemesis Scooter Braun. Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry's first move in exile was to build an institution. They created Archwell. All their media work is done in partnership with Archwell. They want control of their intellectual property, a total boss move. When her daughter was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease, neuromyelitis optica, innovative cosmetics entrepreneur Victoria Jackson dramatically shifted her focus, talents, and financial resources from mascara to medicine. In the course of creating, funding, and leading a research foundation with her husband, Ms. Jackson has shaped a paradigm-breaking approach to medical research. In addition to connecting 175 innovative problem solvers from 28 countries and even more diverse fields of expertise in an unprecedented model of collaboration, the Guthy Jackson Charitable Foundation has created a global community of patients, advocates, and healthcare stakeholders with a significant positive impact on the treatment of autoimmune and related diseases. Underscoring the transformative significance of Jackson's work, this is what female power looks like, transforming lives for the greater good to extend human life. In 1976, Victoria won a scholarship to beauty school. After winning a scholarship to beauty school, Victoria excelled, soon building a thriving career as a makeup artist. Before bootstrapping her own business, Victoria Jackson Cosmetics, literally creating it in her garage. Victoria Jackson Cosmetics took off with the creation of No Makeup Makeup, which revolutionized the beauty industry, which had been stuck in overly made-up looks. Her goal was to bring out the inherent beauty in every woman. Victoria saw herself as a goodwill ambassador for women, using the mantra, When you look better, you feel better, and when you feel better, you can change the world. Victoria, like Megan, believes in lifting as you climb so in 1988. She began teaching makeup at UCLA. She had overcome the odds and had the practical intelligence to teach things with real-world application and not just classroom theories. Going on to become a university extension instructor for 10 years, leaders create more leaders, the true mark of leadership. Victoria excelled in building a thriving career as a makeup artist. In America, the home of entrepreneurship, Victoria was inspired to bootstrap and create her own business, Victoria Jackson Cosmetics, literally creating it in my garage, the authentic American story of success. In the first week, Victoria sold a million dollars of cosmetics. Thirteen infomercials followed, along with a 10-year run on QVC with over 600 products generating a billion dollars in sales. Total girl boss move. One of the most meaningful dimensions of Victoria's life has been helping those most in need, specifically through volunteering and teaching. Victoria has empowered women by creating programs using makeup to help bring light and help to women in prison, the ill in hospitals, and at-risk youth organizations.
Billionaire Warren Buffett, branded the greatest investor of all time, once stated the most important investment one can make is whom one marries. Marriage is a powerful tool to achieve goals, gain power, wealth, and make an impact. Liberal media tells black women to remain single and independent. Yet black women are the poorest people in America because they live on a single income while others enjoy a double income. In 1991, Victoria married Bill Guthy of the infomercial giant Guthy Renker. Marriage is a wealth builder, and so marrying an equally powerful person makes a woman powerful. Victoria made a good decision to marry someone who was an asset. It's not enough to make money, you have to keep it as well. Their marriage produced extraordinary two kids, Adi and Jackson. Children are part of your legacy. By 2008, after years of hard work, their family really seemed to be living the charmed life. Victoria Jackson is very inspirational to all of us women. She is the embodiment of female power, not just acquiring power for power's sake, but the power to change lives and save lives and transform future generations. She is a goat, real female power. If you like this video, support our work with super thanks or super chat, or join our channel subscription. Subscribe, press the bell icon, and like, comment, and share the video.